in this, everybody knows this fucking book. I'm not even going to talk about this. It, it, to me, I like it. I know a lot of people talk a lot of shit about this book and said there was lies and stuff. But as far as from an entertainment point of view, I thought it was pretty interesting. You know, the stuff about the typical Varg and Mayhem, Euronymous, there's some interesting shit about uh, Absurd in here and Bard, all that shit. I don't know, it's pretty good. You, you, if you listen to Black Metal, I guarantee you already have this. But this is the original press. I know they put out another one with the extended extra pages, which I do not have. This is good enough for me. But if you don't have it, get it. If not, fuck it. Uh, moving on. This here is a re very cool book, too. It originally was uh, out of print. Then they were ma selling it for ridiculous. People were selling it for ridiculous prices. But uh, it's back in print now. Basically about... Uh, Early Years of Mayhem, really good book, I mean it's mo mostly a, a photo book, but there are some uh, liner notes, some photos, infamous ones you've already seen, but there are some photos that uh, I saw for the first time in this book, really cool uh, little microcosm of this era, so I highly recommend this, if you like black metal, you need this, get it, good photos. And I love early mayhem, so it's worked out good for me. Uh, another book here, Loose for Rising. This is uh, not necessarily just about black metal, but it talks a lot about black metal. It's basically sin, worship, and rock and roll about the occult and music. Very cool. Uh, cool interviews with uh, different bands. Deicide, uh, Asheron, and Alave. Got some stuff about Bathory in here. Uh, this came out around the same time that uh, Lords of Chaos came out, so it, it's a good book. It's uh, mostly just talking about the occult and music and film. If you like uh, horror movies, which I do, it, it touches upon that. Really cool book. Uh, it talks about Aleister Crowley, obviously. Movies, The Exorcist, Black Metal, Occult. I, I would suggest getting this too. It's, it's a good book. <laughs> Uh, we have, next up, Mondo Black. Heavy music artwork, they put out some uh, pretty cool books. This came out in 2020. Uh, this one has got some cool photography and, and whatnot. It's basically just uh, a band by band, little history, promo about them, record label. It, it's kind of a paint by numbers book, which has a little little synopsis about each band and photos, but uh, it's still worth having. There, there's some great photos, great visuals in here, a lot of cool bands from more popular ones that are more mainstream to, well, as mainstream as black metal can get, and then other uh, more underground, so to speak. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a good book. And this uh, company pr produces pretty good quality stuff. Uh, next up, this is pretty, everybody has this, this is, you've seen this, infamous true, true Norwegian black metal, a Peter Best photographer, a colla, uh, coffee table book with all his photographs, which, uh, as you can see, it's nice, large format, which I think works really well for these, uh, photos, it really captures the feeling, I think it should be like this, lots of cool photos, it's, uh, I like photography, so I was a sucker for this. Um, maybe some people may not like this, just to sit around and look at uh, pictures of guys in corpse paint, but black metal is a very visual aesthetic. Would I want a book like this about uh, hardcore bands? Like, I like hardcore, especially old hardcore. But... Well, actually, I'm, I'm kind of contradicting myself because, yeah, actually, old hardcore, I would buy something like this. But anyway. Black metal is a very visual aesthetic, and this captures it very well. Great photographer, Peter Best. If you have this, good for you. If not, we'll buy it. Now this here is excellent. Analog Black Terror, Nuclear War. Now I'll put this out. This is excellent. Nice large, large format. And it's just a uh, nice uh, compendium of all these old black metal cassette demo covers and whatnot. This is uh, 
a nice piece of history right here. I definitely, if you don't have this, you need to get this really cool stuff. All these old demos. I love looking at this kind of stuff. Bare bones, simplistic stuff. Get this. Uh, next up here, this is a book, magazine-ish. It's basically, if you're familiar with it, uh, Gallery of the Grotesque. They put these out. It's just a bunch of uh, interviews of black metal bands. It's very cool stuff. So this Gallery of Grotesque, I would suggest getting any of their volumes. They're all good. Interviews with good bands. I don't even. I bought this at a record store many years ago. I don't even remember where, but I'm glad I have it. It's got some cool interviews. It's a good bump to read while you're taking a shit. So uh, yeah, check it out. Cool interviews in here. Black Witchery. Yep, get it. Uh, last section of books are. Uh, Basically put out by uh, Dale Patterson or Dale Patterson. I'm not sure how you say his name, but this guy's a good, good writer. I like his writing. Very well done. Flows really well. Very makes keeps you interested. This book here, when it first came out, I was not familiar with the author. I just saw this cover. I said, "What a shitty looking cover!" I, I was not a fan of this cover at all. It looked like shit. It was, I thought it was boring, but I went ahead and picked it up. And to my surprise, it was uh, very good. It's obviously every chapter is about a different bed or a different scene, but there's some interesting histories in here. Nice, nice writing, good uh, content. And there's also a nice photo section in the middle, full color, very cool stuff. So this is kind of one of the, those common books. I think most people have this that are into the, into black metal, but if not, hey, check it out, man. It's uh, worth getting. If not, fucking blow your fucking brains out. And the last section is all by the same author, Dale, Dale Patterson, Patterson. This is basically a continuation of the other book. Very similar, the same thing, just more chapters of the other bands that were not covered. Very good, excellent. Uh, both of these books I'd highly recommend. Uh, another little book, booklet by the same author. It has a bunch of uh, interviews he's done over the years with different black metal bands. Very cool stuff. I mean, this this is always good. Another good book when you take that shit. So yeah, I would highly recommend this. And lastly here. I think I have more books, but I, I uh, fuck it, this is enough. Um, Colt Never Dies, nice little box set here. Excellent. I'm all about this kind of packaging, you know, that's what makes things really cool, especially in this day and age, in this competitive era, you need to do something different as far as the packaging. Comes with two different books here. Then some inserts here. First one here is a uh, Into the Abyss, a visual companion. Just uh, more photography. But again, I like this kind of shit. So uh, very nice, black and white, high contrast, and also color. Very nice. And then another book that's kind of a another more interviews and whatnot. It gets kind of repetitive, but it's still very well done. Nice layouts, good photos, cool stuff, interviews. Yeah, so it's uh, definitely worth checking out. That's some of the books. I have a whole shelf of a bunch of other music books, other black metal, death metal, punk rock stuff, new wave. I, I just love music and underground music and whatnot, so I always buy books. I'll probably do some other uh, videos on some of the other metal books. I've got thrash metal and stuff. But uh, I don't know. What do you think about the, these books? Is there any uh, cool black metal books that I 
missed. Maybe yeah, there's some other ones that are off my ra radar. If you know of any, let me know. Um, otherwise, fuck off and uh, enjoy your day.